Oh no! Hello everyone, Doc Owen here with Action Figure Times. I know you can barely see me, but beside uh, the collection of Hasbro's new Thor line that goes along with the movie, we're going to be looking at some really cool things. We're going to go through five of the figures, four of the regular figures, and then one of the deluxe. We're going to go ahead and start with, let's start, go ahead and start with Odin. Now a couple things I find interesting about this. Uh, first off, if you look right there on the package, it says Marvel's Odin. Is there like a DC Odin that I, I'm unaware of? Or, or I, I noticed on none of the other packages it didn't have like Marvel's Thor or Marvel's Loki. I mean, is it something with the Stargate universe or what? But anyway, so we have Shield Bash Marvel's Odin. Now on the back, you get a little bit of a picture there. That's kind of neat. You get... Um, uh, the Sword Strike Thor, the Frost Giant, Invasion Frost Giant, and Battle Hamel Thor. You got a brief little bio here on the side. Of course, you've got the obligatory uh, lightning going on up there. Now, <clears throat> this has pop up out shield spikes. So let's go ahead and get this open. And we'll go ahead and pop him. You know, it's got the Chris Hemsworth before I get to Terran. Uh, got the Chris Hemsworth up there. There, you got the cool little. Um, uh, Avengers symbol that they've got for the movies, Avengers Assemble, with the Iron Man at the top. It's got um, Thor and then Captain America because they're gearing up, of course, for the Avengers movie next year that I'm actually looking forward to. Now, as we pull this out, if I can get him out. Wow, he's in there, all right. Okay. He does look an awful lot like Anthony Oh, he's got a bunch of little rubber thingies holding him in. He does look an awful lot like Anthony Hopkins. Which is good, since it's an Anthony Hopkins is who he's supposed to look like. We're going to be just showing you a close-up video here in just a second. We're going to try it out for the very first time. Uh, his cape pops off, just like that. Pops right back on pretty easily. He's got a, actually got a chest joint right there. That's kind of good. Um, is that a bicep? Yep, a limited bicep joint. He, uh, limited bicep joint. He's got a limited elbow joint. His uh, wrist turns. That's good. Head turns somewhat. You know, he's got, it's, this is the long haired. Everybody, and uh, everybody I think that's a good guy has long hair in, in Valhalla. Now, um, I'm, no, I'm wrong about that because of the Warriors 3 and stuff like that. Okay, boy, he's got a wicked leg joint. Look at that. That's kind of cool. He's got the ball hip joint, um, no ankles or anything. Kind of a cool figure, uh, pretty simplistic. Um, I, I assume he looks like the movie guy because I haven't seen it yet. Of course, he's got his patch uh, there on his eye, the metal patch. It's uh, kind of cool. From the back, you can kind of see the sweep of the cape. You can pop the cape off. You can get a good look at him right there. Now, in addition to him, these thing, all, all of these figures seem to have uh, a great deal of accessories. How, how was he going to stand? There we go. There we go. All right, let's back you out a little bit. Um, in here, all of them have an anime sword. When I say anime, I mean because this thing is huge. I mean, that's, I mean, that's something I could use at my size as a little bungee dagger or something like that. And it seems like it's got, oh, dude, this thing, like, opens up. I don't know what you're going to do. What is that, like a, some sort of flower? But uh, is there a way to make it flash open? I don't think so. Anyway, he can stick that in his hand. Whoa, hold on there. Oh, yeah, there is a way. I pressed the... Uh, Press the button. Well, how do I make the... But I don't think this does anything. I think you had to do that manually. I'd stick that in the ground. That thing would be too heavy to carry around. Ah. Getting it in his hand is a pain in the rear. There we go. And there he comes out again. Okay, I don't know that he's going to hold on to this thing. It feels like I'm about to break his thumb off. Let 
You know, it seems like every time I try to put one of these things in somebody's hand, they fight with me. Anyway, here we go. He does have a shield that's got lots of, uh, this thing's got some spikes on it right there. You see that? Let me pull you in a little closer. See that thing? Or you actually want it to go that way because of the teeth. Um, can I push this? I don't know. I, it's got a push button in the middle, but I don't know what it's supposed to do. Is there a way to cock it? or See right there? In, you see that little button right there? Oh, wait a minute. Maybe it'll shrink. Ah, oh, there we go. Are you going to stay? Yeah, there we go. And so when he gets in trouble, he has to reach around his shield. I guess he could knock somebody in the head and... And now he's ready to cut on him. Can he carry this thing? I guess he can try to shove his arm through there like that. Well, sort of. Can he stand up? I'm betting no, because this... Oh, wow! There we go! Yeah! Dude, with the cape, I bet you should really be able to stand. Now, if you could just get your sword in your hand, dude, you'd be ready to go. However, I guess it's a good thing you're Odin because you're going to need all that Odin power. Oh, wait a minute. I think I might have... There, finally. There we go. Odin is ready for battle. And, you know, he actually, I think with a sword in his hand, he's having a little trouble standing up. But, I mean, he's... Oh. oh. And there he goes. So, let's move on. <laughs> um, let's first look at Thoden, uh, Odin's other son. We're looking at Loki here. On the back, you kind of, this is called Secret Strike uh, Loki. I guess you can figure because he's such a sneaky dude, he's got to have a sneaky strike. Doesn't uh, look pretty good in the package. It says blades combine. So uh, this ought to be interesting. Packaging doesn't look all that much different. Uh, you can kind of see what he's got going on in there. Inside, you can see the two uh, blades here to the side. Let's get them open and see what he's got going on. All right. All right. Come on out, Loki. All right. Here we, you ever wondered how if Odin is so wise and so powerful, why doesn't he realize his son is a real bonehead? I mean, my mother wasn't that smart, but when I was a kid, she figured it out pretty quick. He is very well jointed. He's got a he's got a the back joint. His arm seems to move around a whole lot more. Let me pull you in so you can see. I, I don't know who the actor is, to be honest with you, who who plays him. But uh I'm sure it's gotta look somewhat like him. His arm moves around quite a bit. He's got a a bend, but not much of a bend. That's about it from what I can see. Um his little dress kind of spins around on him a little bit, you, you know, so I guess if he gets into into a scrape, he can, you know, do something like that. His knee, I wonder why they put so much into their knees, and, and but they're, all their weapons are hand-based. That, that doesn't make sense to me. If I, if I was going to put all, you know, give them all handheld weapons, I mean, I'd give them away. They can get funky with that elbow or something, you know. From the back, he looks pretty cool. Uh, oh, he does have an ankle joint. That moves pretty well. From the back, you can kind of get a good look of him there. Uh, I mean, that's a pretty good sculpt, I mean, as far as the way it is. Now, with him, he's got um, something that looks like I'm breaking it. Yeah, I bent it. That's that's not good. Then he's got these look like tonfas. In here. Well, I thought they looked like tonfas, but where'd the handle go? 
Let me see. Oh! Man, that thing shot right out at me. It's a good thing it's not a real blade or I'd have had a real problem. But where's, the, oh, there's the handle there. You've got that, you got, got a little, you can just kind of see it right there. Got a little tonfa action going on. Let's see if I can keep this one from hitting me in the head. There we go. And then he's got two little daggers that are fairly well in there. I mean, they got this one taped over. Come on out. All right. So here we are. We got Loki, right? See how well Loki stands here. And we have these two little critters that uh, fit in to make one sword. Just like that. So can Loki hold on to it any better than his daddy? Mm. Come on, guy. Anyway, this thing's annoying. You know, they should slide in and out of there pretty... I'm going to go ahead and put this back together. Now, when you press the button in the middle, they pop out just like that. With, and then he, I guess he has to take it apart, and then he can get jiggy with it with this. Ah, oh, come on. And then, so he can, he can kind of fit that in his hand. So he can... Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Yeah! Get out of the way, Thor! I want to I wanna be the lead dog. And then... With, okay, so he's got the dagger so he can hit him with the tonfa. Pop! And then stick him. Yeah! Yeah! Not a very good knife fighter. Uh, his head... You know, he, he's got his... The way his head... Oh, look at there. I didn't notice that. He's got a massive head joint. It's very tight. Come on. It's very tight, but you can you can make him look, you know, like, who are you? Who do you think you are? Or you can stick it all the way down, and it's going to look like that. You can kind of get a good look at it right there. So that's kind of, um, he's not a bad figure. All right.